Okay guys, good morning and welcome back for another War Thunder First 10. This is a test drive, I'll just spell that out at the beginning, for the T-55 AM-1. And uh, before I forget, I've got a 15% research booster and a for the all 10 battles, and I've got a 30%, excuse me, <clears throat> a 30% silver line booster for the first five battles. I activated those last night before I realized that I was going to be doing the first 10 this morning, and uh, I don't want to waste time not recording, so I'm just going to do it with the 30% uh, line booster on. I've got a little more ammo than I meant to bring. Um, this thing has got seven different ammo types, so these are the ones I'm planning on using. Uh, I've got the ATGMs because I anticipate encountering enemy helicopters fighting against the US, or I guess fighting against us. Um, this is an 8.7 battle rating tank. We've got a fully matched, uh, or a fully mixed battle here. So we'll uh, see what we can do. I'm going to see if I can spot any enemies and fire missiles at them on the horizon. Otherwise, I will uh, just continue in for the B point here. There we go. That works. I don't know how he didn't see that coming, but uh, first shot, first kill works for me. I figured I'd be limited on the amount of uh, ATGMs I could carry, but it was going to let me bring more than 10. I just don't don't feel like I need that many. I do like this thing having ATGMs because you can fight enemy helicopters with it. Let's bring a... Uh... It does have engine smoke, it's got smoke dischargers, and it gets smoke rounds, which is a nice combo. Artillery... Oh, there's our somebody to shoot artillery at there. I like this team charging in rather uh, aggressively to the B point, but then again it's IS-7s and BMP-2s and stuff, so I don't know what they're scared of. Okay. So. Now, as far as uh, with regard to both Uh, the Silver Lion and RP gain, as this is a test drive, not an actually owned T-55 AM-1, I uh, don't get the full research benefit, so just keep that in mind at the end of the, uh, at the end of each, um, battle, battle result screen. Also, as far as the battle result screens go, you will be able to tell whether or not I have a Silver Lion or a, uh, research booster on. I, I will have research for all ten battles, of course. But you'll be able to tell for the rest of it, because... I will always show you that on the end result screen of each battle. All right, back to focusing on the actual battle here. There we go. That works. And we're capping. Somebody's getting marked right over here though. I can't see them. Wherever they are, they must be behind a house. Okay, that was a shot at me for sure. We're gonna back up here. Only one reverse gear, and it's not great, but it's enough to sort of get you out of some trouble, I guess. That's still there. Alright, we took B. We're taking C. That's good. That's a good combination of points to take. Somebody's calling out a Leo all the way down at sea. Wow. That's quite a... Quite an up there. Okay, we got a target in sight right there. I think he just got... Yeah, he just got taken out. Right before I shot. Let's go investigate this guy here that I can't see through all this dirt. Our BMP took him out. Okay. That's fine. Anybody out there in the distance? I don't see anybody at the moment. 
So there's an APDS round and a Heat FS round as well. I'm considering bringing the Heat FS round instead of the uh, APC BC round, but I'm not sure. I like having smoke rounds for um, instances like one side of Poland where you're driving at the sniper ridge there and people always go there and camp and pick you off. So I like having smoke rounds to fire up at, at likely uh, enemy positions. So I would probably stick with this ammo loadout that I've got here and just go from there. One thing that I do like about this tank is it's an 8.7, so you won't see any Abrams. You can see XM1s, of course, because they're 9.0, but you won't see any 10.0 Abrams or M1 IPs, so that's nice. Can't quite see him. Got his cannon breach there. I assume he's going to get out of the way. He's got friends. Oops. I forgot I had switched over to missiles. I was just going to pop an AP, APFSDS off there and then back off. That's okay. We'll uh, give him a missile now and see if that looks like an IS-7, I think. See if I can take that tree down next to him. Good time as any to test the smoke dischargers. All right, fire forward in time. Good. Good. I was wondering if it was going to fire off all eight or. Uh, or if it would just fire forward in time. It's good to know that it fires forward in time and you got two chances with it. There's a helicopter. It's friendly though. Okay. Nope. P47. Is there an enemy helicopter? Okay, there it is, friendly. AH-1. Alright. Fair enough. Lost an Object 120 over there. Still got a missile loaded. Let's see if we can pick up an enemy here. Object 120. Uh, Magak taken out. But I didn't get an assist on him, so he must have repaired his breach right before he got bombed. Still got a guy left on uh, the enemy team with very, very, very little score. Wonder if he's back in their spawn somewhere. That was a shot. That looked like a shot at one of our helicopters, but it looked like it came behind us. Okay, the guy with almost no score just exited the battle. So I think he was AFK or timing out or something. up. I'm going to see if I can spot that leopard that was down in this corner that people were talking about. Up here. He may not still be there, but that's what I'm going after. anybody at the moment. CSU 57 though. Since he's engaging my teammates. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Not surprising. Anybody left? We got one left. He has died twice. It is the 2nd of October, I don't believe I mentioned that at the beginning. If I did, well, now you know twice. I am guessing there's nobody else down here, but he could be. Sure seems like we're going to win this battle. Sure seems like I got a good chance of it being a survived 
first battle, but it depends if the dude is down here. Looks like he was just getting marked at the other spawn, so... We'll, uh... Yep. He was at the other spawn. Alright. Well, that's gonna be that for battle number one, then. That's funny. Let's see what the smoke drop looks like. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, actually. Okay, well, engine smoke system is a go. And, uh, GG. We'll see you all in battle number two. Alright, here's battle two. Battle one went well enough, I guess. Can't really be too upset about that, I suppose. We'll see if we can get a side shot on guys with the, uh, APC-BC round after the first round. Okay, a couple things. Here's the X-ray. So I dropped down to 20 rounds of ammo, or rather 30 rounds of ammo, as you can see, which there's 18 in this main front ammo rack behind the fuel tank, and that is your primary ammo rack, so you can't, that's the one that gets decreased the last. So I could drop the rest of this ammo back there behind the uh, turret bustle, but, or behind the turret basket, I mean, not turret bustle, but I don't know if I'm going to or not. Okay, we got T64Bs with us. We got a 9.7 battle, so potentially some uh, potentially some higher tier competition here, like XM1s. First things first. Put some artillery up there. See if I can pull off this capture, let's see what kind of a uh, lion payout I get for... Oh, oh. What kind of a lion payout I can get for the cap here, with a 30% lion booster on. Alright, thanks. Got a couple more guys coming, I don't know if they're gonna make it. One of them is. Sorry guys. Okay, well, where are you going, man? Which way are you going? <laughs> I'm sorry, fellow T-55 AM. Crashing all over into him. Okay, we got almost nobody up north. Wow, like nobody up north. Okay. I'm going to make use of the engine smoke system to head for A. So here we go. Look at these guys. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this. They hold a cap here, we hold a cap here, the rest of the entire map is totally wide open in the north, and we got five guys heading in for their spawn. Maybe they're not actually going for their spawn now, looks like they turned. No, they're pretty much focusing on the enemy spawn. This is, an, in, in my opinion, one of the biggest problems that this game has. Not the biggest. I'm not saying this is the biggest problem the game has, but it is one of. It's a serious issue with this game. You can blame it on the maps if you want to. I personally blame it on the players that abuse the errors in the maps. It's a two-way street, for sure. If the map didn't allow it, the players wouldn't be able to abuse it, yes. But also, the players could choose to be not scumbags. You know, there's that, too. But... Those are my opinions. Those guys are coming into the A point, not going for the spawn, so good. I forgive these four. I renounce my claim of scumbaggery upon them. Okay, we got a XM1 close on the other side of A here. The right. Let's get this thing turned around, maybe. 
Oh, never mind. He is actually off to the other this side here, so we'll S turn. Okay, he's knocked out. Say, we got one right on top of our. Oh! Look at that T55 AM1 right there. That's funny. Whoops. What? Alright. I I don't know. No idea how he just got killed, but uh, I guess I'm not complaining. He didn't leave the battle either. I really don't know what just happened to him. Alright, we got one out there. I'm going to try and get around and uh, work on this guy on the other. Uh, oh, it looks like he just got taken out. Yep, he did. Okay. Well, good. I thought this thing was going to be severely handicapped, but uh, so far, the teams are doing okay. It is, of course, very team dependent, but so far, our teams are alright. Okay, let's, uh... We're losing guys in a hurry over here to the left, though. I want to get some place where I can sit still and reload my smoke dischargers. Helicopter coming. Attention to the designated grid zone. Yep, there we go. Helicopter just hit me. I don't know where it is. I don't know where this helicopter is, but it's just gonna keep hitting me now because I can't I can't tell where it is. That is definitely not friendly. This is getting old in a hurry. Helicopter's got to be out there somewhere. I'm just trying to cover myself until I can get mobile here. Right, let's get out of here. Sounds like an MBZ-70 firing off missiles near me. Yep. It was right next to me. I don't know where everybody else got off to, but anyway, we'll see you in Battle 3. Alright, here's Battle 3. So far, so good. Two battles, two wins. Can't complain about that too much. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at these fat boys. This first 10 features all the fat YouTubers. All the YouTubers and me by myself at sea. Okay, we're gonna try and hide somewhere. Let's get behind a dune and punch off ATGMs at people, I guess. <laughs> ah, that's good stuff right there. Alright, we got on C. Time to probably pay attention. What do we got here? Just America. It's probably uh, M56 or M51 maybe. Looks like maybe some smoke over there. Alright, time to stop. Stop fooling around and start playing serious.
controls most of the strategic zones. Okay, what do we got here? I'm not firing artillery just to not give away my position right away. God, Jesus. Stop the repair, stop the repair. Serpentine, serpentine. Let's get out of here. Attention to the <laughs> He's gonna find my tracks and kill me. Well, that was fun. It's awesome to lose your breach in the first shot and then have nobody else on your side of the map. Hooray, my favorite map. Okay, here's Battle 4. Had a slight uh, slight break in between Battles 3 and 4 to uh, do a little bit of extra in-game bonus footage and send it off to somebody else too. I don't know if you'll see it on my channel first with this first 10 or if you'll see it on a different YouTuber's channel as part of another compilation series they do, but either way, I, they may not even use it. But anyway, at the end of this battle, you'll see it, so. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So far, it's been a decent enough tank to drive, I guess. A little bit of an assist from my comrades behind me here. All right, let's put artillery there. Pretty likely spot. And I'm gonna try and get up above B here and sit with my ATGMs. Which I just heard go flying past us. Okay, somebody right on top of us. Not surprising. I can breach this. I think I can. Nope. <laughs> what the heck? Alright, well, anyway. That was a strange... Strange little bit there. Missile came out of the side of the turret. Oh. <laughs> Starship in sight. Alright, we'll wait till he comes into the open. Commander and his gunner. Attention to the map. And I'll take care of that. Now, what did we have right down here? Hostile or friendly? Let's use engine smoke. And move out. Okay, we're taking B. Good. We got somebody getting hit up at C. All 
All right, we're taking B, so I'm going to go help my teammate over here. All right, Chieftain Mark V that just took out our guy right here, so let's go get him. Somewhere close here. Woof! I'm glad I survived that, but I have a feeling the Chieftain's gonna know. He doesn't know I'm here yet. Come on, baby. Alright. We'll just stay where he can't aim at us here. Lovely. Okay, so there's multiples up on the hills. Well, there's a surprise. Nobody ever goes up there and just camps all battle. All right, let's uh, change things up and go for C this time. We got... Yeah, only Russia against America and Britain. That's not surprising. Okay. Let's see if we can do some missile launching at them. Last battle, I finished up uh, the engine smoke system for my regular T 55A, so that's kind of neat. I've actually, I'm getting close to spading it out. I have the engine and the transmission left to go on it, so. Kinda crazy. I'm glad I finally have the uh, engine smoke for it. But, back to the T55AM1. Alright, I'm gonna peek over the hill here and see if I can find any missile launching targets first. And almost, oh, that's not too bad. Hull down ish. Relatively hull down right here. Okay, match is getting a little bit bigger. I don't see any XM1s out there yet. That may have been a shot at me. It also may have been a shot at the BMP, I'm not sure. Is that a helicopter? Might be. Hard to tell from right here. That might be a helicopter shooting at us. I didn't hear a missile launch, or missile track sound, but could be. Could have also been a tank. That's definitely a tank. Well, maybe it's not. I don't know. I, I honestly, I can't tell. If... That's a helicopter. Yep, for sure. engine smoke for a little extra cover right now. That's what I think of you. Alright, that's not cool. Good God! Never ever saw this guy. I guess he was close. Never saw him. 
I don't know if the BMP said anything about where the guy was that killed him, but I didn't hear it. All right, here is battle six. I'm gonna... We're gonna go park it behind the hill again and see if we can... S no, we're not either. No, not, not when I got a better look at where the ACAP is. We will get up to these houses and then stop and missile from there because a lot of our team is going to be over at the ACAP. Or not over at the ACAP. A lot of our team is going to be over here at these hills and they won't be able to see the ACAP to stop it. So that's what we're going to do. So, actually... I want to fire a smoke shell in, in game just because I can. Okay, we got just Germany. Interesting. All right, no America this time. Quite a few uh, T55 AM ones out of our four out of seven. Nice stabilizer. That stabilizer was real nice right there, keeping the gun from bouncing all over, all over everywhere. You can stop that now. Just pay attention to the enemy, please. Not machine gunning your teammates out in front of you. Nobody in sight yet. Now, I primarily, I've got the ATGMs loaded first in case of helicopters spawned out first. So, without helicopters being a threat here, I would still keep the ATGMs loaded first, but it won't be as important to use as a rapid reload. So... We will... See what we can see over this way. Looks like we should be top tier. Looks like an 8.7 max match. Probably is. It doesn't look like anybody on the enemy team. Nobody on our team is driving anything higher than 8.7. Now, there's no guarantee that it's not. an 8.7, or a higher than 8.7 match, just that no one on our team is driving anything higher than 8.7, so. Alright, we've arrived at, I was going to put engine smoke out, but my team is driving directly behind me, and I don't want to stop them from making it into the cap, because they're going to hit a bunch of these houses and stuff if I do that, so. I will save the engine smoke, and deploy it crosswise across the middle of the cap here, right here. I'm thinking we got a maximum, we're, we're a max tier vehicle this time, I do believe. <laughs> okay. Now I do prefer to use the regular um, smoke grenades if I can help it when I'm near a cat because I can reload them faster. Yeep! But those were more or less the appropriate ones to use there, so. Definitely got an enemy right up there. That sure looked like, well, I'm, okay, I got the smoke reloaded, so what the heck. Ah! Wow, a Leopard 120 got me. All right, well. Respawn, let the team know where he is, and uh, see you in the next battle. Okay, here's battle seven. <laughs> it's so tempting to hit my engine smoke, but I can't. I can't do it. Can't do it. I can hit my artillery. I could be a total D-bag and go up and hide right here and ATGM everything. But obviously somebody's aware of that position. I mean, everybody should be, but anyway. Okay, let's, uh, artillery on the approach to B. Wait for my team to show up. Okay, 
can't see through there. Okay. All right. Now, team is on their way to A. Oh, it must be a mixed battle. I didn't even notice. Yep, fully mixed. Okay. Well, in that case. I already fired my artillery up there. Should I save the RD? We'd better go back to the APF SDS here. All right, team is moving in. Ha <laughs> Actually damaged him with a smoke round. Okay, I figured he would have moved away, but it was worth a chance. All right, reload. They're taking B. Got a lot of enemies right here. Let's uh... be nice if my artillery was reloaded. However, all right, IS-7, you go that way. Come on, Artie. Phew! Okay. One down. Back off while we reload and we'll move up and engage this guy. What? Okay. Do not notice me. Come on, that's two game. God dang it. Come on, that's two shots I had at that cheek and that should have hit him through those walls. That's some crap. All right, there's battle eight. Had a decent little comeback there in battle seven. So good job team there. Ended up working out. Uh, had another Enemy T-62 just running around rampant with nobody saying a thing about where he was after he killed him. I finally ran into him and shot him in from behind and took out his entire turret crew and uh, also the uh, cannon breach and then finished him off. So, Well, I got two of his three turret crew and then his cannon breach and then finished him off. Holy cow, I've never seen so much of our team spawn up there. All right, we're gonna have to be cautious today. We are fighting America and uh, Britain, so. All right. See how this goes. Helicopter. Well, never mind. I would like to have gotten a missile shot off. It's not to say that he's going to be the only one. Do we have one on our team? No, we don't. So, if we're still hearing a helo, it's not friendly. Let's see if I can get to a place where I can launch a missile at it. Sounds like there might still be one up. There might have been more than one. They're Cap and C. I think our team uh, should be sufficient enough to deal with it over there. Wouldn't it be funny if it's their helicopter capturing C? Alright, let's see if we can spot that helo anywhere. If he's watched capturing C, I'm going to die laughing.
I don't think so. I think that the helicopter noise may have been the one that crashed. Still crashing. I'm not entirely sure. All right, let's put some artillery cover up above our dude there. Get our A. Yep, our A guy stopped tapping. Got a heavy up there somewhere. Getting hits on him, but I don't see him. Presumably, it's going to be an M103. Yes, a hit. Attention to the designated grid zone. Watch that. Hang on, man. Attention to the designated grid zone. Something right, there is something right next to me. There's an XM1 right next to me. I hear it. Let's hope our reload is faster than his. It all comes down to this. Come on, loader. Sorry about that, T-50. I was focused on the one out in the cap. Okay. Let's hold here, wait for him to reveal himself. Gonna hold the artillery for now. Didn't want to give away the fact that I was there. Now was he the only one? Hard to tell. Engine smoke go. Still had a heavy up there somewhere. Put my arty out. Where that heavy was taking hits and getting marked. And then well done, 906. We'll recapture A and then reload our smoke and see about moving in on B. Oh, he's Attention to the map. The light forces have captured a zone. Attention to the designated grid square. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, fix the breach. Fix the breach. Fix the breach before he shoots us again. Okay. Got him. Go a little low on him. Got him. Phew. Well done, team. They captured the other two points while I was preoccupied with that 103 behind us. I'm assuming that has to have been the 103 that I originally hit with artillery at the start of this whole adventure at the A point. Well done, team. Now, all right. We're reloaded. We're re restocked with shell, smoke, and ammo. Got our extra crew member. Let's get to a defensive position here. Get 
inside some cover before we get hit with a helicopter. Or this jet that's coming that I don't see. Yeah, that one. Could put a missile at him. There he is. Shot the big boy empty. The guns just always seem to reload just one half of a microsecond too late to be useful. If that big machine gun had reloaded half a second earlier, I'd have had a real close close range shot right into him. But no. Quite a few enemies left. We need to be careful. I'm not putting up too many tracers on this guy. Unless we have a good chance of hitting him. Alright, back into the trees we go. Luckily he dropped his bombs way early. That would have been an issue. His bomb uh, timers were set well enough. His fuse delay, but he did not drop them close enough to me to actually do any serious damage, so... Good, good. Fired it empty again. All right, loader, come on. See if he comes back this time. We can get some shots at him. And then I might run an engine smoke from A to B just because it's funny. Alright. On our way to B. Because I can, more than anything. We got enough guys at their spawn at A. Their South A spawn. So we're gonna run an engine smoke screen from A to B. Mostly because it's entertaining. And here we go. I love the engine smoke. It's such a great way to cover your team or cover, uh, give them a less obvious place of where you're hiding. Friend, the jet is coming in again, but say I don't see him. Okay, how many we got left on the enemy team? Three left. Presumably he went up high, but I don't see him. P forty seven is out. So put up a little distraction smoke there to move away from it here. See if I can catch that F9F2 looking for me in the smoke. Or F I think he's an F2H more properly than an F9F, but. Cannons in the nose and wingtip fuel tanks. <laughs> yeah, he is an F9F, F2H2 rather. All right. We'll load a missile for his next approach. I don't think I'll get an actual good shot at him, but we'll see what we can do. Wonder if he's out of cannons yet and he's heading for home. 
entirely a possibility. I do believe my decoy smoke worked since, uh, and he may have just picked another target, but I think it worked. All right, pull up this hill a little bit to get a little bit of an upward angle for the missile launch, just in case, and reload the uh, smoke grenades. I think he went RTB. It would seem. And of course our guys are just lighting them up at their spawn. They have somebody who's got no score. This late in a battle to have no score like that? What are you doing? Well, I guess the jet must have left left the battle because this guy just got a kill as an M103, but he could be he could be the jet and maybe just got a kill credit, I think. I think that might be what happened. I think he's on his way back to base and he damaged somebody as an M103 and that's what happened with the kill feed. Yep. That is exactly what happened. That was the guy who got the kill credit as the M103 and he just crashed probably or maybe jade out his F2H. All right. Well, I don't know where this dude is. Wait, maybe I do. Maybe his name is a hint. Edge of map, doing nothing for his comrades. Possibly up here in these woods above sea by where the barn is right here. The barn house and the windmill right there. But uh, not exactly the contributor. So we had one more player than they did, but we had basically two more players than they did because this is the first guy who crashed out in the Cobra, and then there's this guy who did nothing. So we essentially had three more players than the enemy team this entire battle. One extra by Gaijin's choice, and two extra by, I don't know what you want to call it, passivity, I suppose. Now maybe the Cobra crashed out because he lost connection. I don't know. But the other guy's been in the battle the whole time and has no score, so... Don't be that kind of person. If he was in the spawn, still alive, my team would have killed him, so... Anyway, see you in another one. Okay, here's Battle 9, and simply to change things up... Hey, look at that. He was with me last battle. To change things up, I'm just going up to C. I or if if this had been just a regular old battle, I would have gone right back to A again because I like that. I like that approach. It's pretty well hidden from these guys, and you can get into the trees all around, like three quarters of the way around A, and then you can easily get down to B. But I'm going up to C here simply because I've already had this map twice: once from over here on this side, and once from down here. So I might as well spice things up a little bit for you guys for the purposes of the first 10, so. Ordinarily, I would have gone right back to A, especially it makes me sort of sad with all the extra guys there, but we'll go for C, just for the sake of changing things up somewhat. Actually, there aren't. See how quickly we can get to uh, We do have a mixed battle though, so we gotta be cognizant of that. Any Americans are enemy, any French are enemy. Gotta be careful about uh, German and Russian silhouettes though. Potentially friendly. Okay, here we go guys. <laughs> he might be fully out of range. I'm going to try one more. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to keep guiding. All right. Let's focus on C. All right, looks like he probably got shot down. Back to sea. Thank you. 
see anybody yet? I've got quite a bit of cover up to my north, which is nice, to my right side. Smoke there, and put some more smoke there. Get a little bit of uh, cover. <laughs> That's funny. Must have been an ac accidental shoot down. Okay. Got somebody right there, it looks like. Of course, a lot of our team that went for A seems to have stopped and camped at the first hill, so... I don't know if it would have been a good or a bad thing that I spawned up here. Alright, I'm going to put one more smoke barrage there, and then we'll see about moving down towards Bravo to help out. That guy's kind of alone down there. Okay. All right, we got some definite enemy presence right there. I'm pretty sure that's, uh... No, it's not either. Oh, I think it was that XM-803 that just got killed, wasn't it? Oh, he's still alive. I can't see him. It was, okay, it was that IS-7. All right, well, fair enough. I'm going to get out of the cap at sea, just in case an enemy makes his way into sea, so I get the warning, and he does not. The warning that an enemy is here. Missile launch is all over the place right now. It's kind of funny. Alright, got shooting going on up here. I can't tell if it's our guys... Probably, no, it was was something right here. It looks like I think it just got knocked out. Reload missiles, and we'll sit and wait for helicopters to come back. All right, they're taking A, but that's all right. I heard more shooting up here to my left. Somewhere sounded close. Okay, let's get a little bit of cover here in these trees, and then we'll see if we can get any uh, long-range missile shots off. Trying not to shoot into their spawn, if I can help it. Okay, we're retaking A. That's good. That's a likely spot for somebody to be stopped and hiding. I don't see anybody just now. Yeah, we got guys shooting missiles probably back at their spawn. Yeah, right there. See if we can spot him. Don't see him. Oh, uh, yeah, that's an IS-7, I do believe, right there. Oh, no, that's a tree. Okay. Ooh, poor leopard. Ouch. Still a few enemies left. Oh. If we can reload this missile fast enough. <laughs> His frenetic movements saved him. Attention to the map. Also, it was a little tough judging the distance, but I think I've got it now. That's close. Yeah, he's right on me. I'm not sure how he got past all my guys up there, but uh, oh well. Okay, guys, here we go for... Battle number 10. Sun in our face. Got one guy going down to the south. Let's see what we can do.
So I haven't actually, as far as I can remember, shown my um, lineup. So I'll we'll just uh, do that real quick right here. Take a screenshot of that, and I'll put that earlier in the video back in Battle 1 or 2 if I didn't show it back then. I don't think I did. So I think I will uh, overlay that way back early on in the video just to show what lineup I actually brought for my 8.7 Soviets. In case anybody is uh, curious. America and Britain again. See if we can make it into the actual cap here. I love that bump that knocks six miles an hour off your speed right there. Luckily, I'm driving a spaded tank, and the re-acceleration was pretty good. Let's hope our friend up there at the front decides to wait for everybody. Looks like he did. Good man. Good man, KPZ. I wish I was coming in a little bit later than everybody else. I would have hit the engine smoke and just floored it. All right, we got a few more guys coming in. Definitely saving my engine smoke for uh, the run to sea here. T-64A looks like he is trying to get here. I knew he was going to just pull in. Is he backing out? He's backing out. Good man, T-55. I think he noticed that the T-64 was coming. I would rather wait a couple extra moments here and get everybody the extra SP. Even though the SP reduction has happened, this is still a good practice to get into for if the uh, SP should ever get returned back to, air quotes, normal. Artillery coming at us, which is an indicator that somebody is up here. But we are out of here. Put Artie back behind, and I am headed to sea because they need help down there. Not good. Chrysler took out her. Yep. They're up in the woods above us. I gotta turn around. To the map. Yeah, we need to turn around here. T55 friend. of artillery yet. We're going to hold here. Not good. Not good up here today. Not good at all. Sun is very unfavorable. That's not good either. Oh, good, a helicopter coming. Who's our friend, the XM1, I wonder? Artillery's not quite reloaded. We're stalemated on tickets, so I'm okay with that. Patience has been rewarded. Yep, that's what I thought. Be careful. Just a track, of course. Quickly. Back off quickly. Ah! Okay, XM1 is down. Got some hits with my arty. One of them definitely drove up here with me. Very bad news. Very bad news. This is a long reload. Attention to the map. Cover me. 
I assume I'm not going to be repaired before the smoke clears. God dang it. What a pain in the butt. Final thoughts coming up. All right, final thoughts for the T-55 AM1 8.7 medium or main battle tank, depending how you want to look at it, for the Soviet Union. It's a nice little premium. It's at a very nice little battle rating, for sure. Looks like I don't have an assist on that guy that killed me just yet. Ooh, what do we hear? A B-57 coming. Oh, dear. Um... Didn't get him. That's a little scary. Um, anyway, I really, really enjoyed driving the T55 AM1, which I thought I would, but I'm glad that uh, it turned out to be something fun. Now, as far as uh, whether I recommend buying it, I would say look at my win ratios up until this point. I don't know yet, obviously. You guys know how Battle 10 is going to turn out, but I don't know yet. But uh, so far, up to this point, it's been awfully good. Awfully good. You don't have to fight Abrams, which is extremely nice. Thought I saw him there. I gotta find my friend, the uh, XM1 that killed me, because he's the one that is the problem here at A right now. Got him. Alright. Let's go retake A. Well, I'm not going to get an assist on him since I killed him myself with my backup vehicle, but that's okay. Uh, that's an issue. Alright, anyway, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this. If you can still get it cheaper in the Hind bundle, I would say that's a valid tactic to do. Especially because when they first came out, the uh, T55AM1, like the bundle was like $10 more expensive to get the... T55 AM and behind than it was to get just the T55 AM by itself. Now, I believe that was the pre-launch price, so it's probably more expensive now, but I would say if you want a Soviet grinding vehicle tank at high tiers, you would be well well served to get that. Um, it's not bad. It's not a bad... Uh, I think our B57 is still up somewhere. Not a bad tank at all. Oh dear. That's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, I do actually have uh, bonus footage for you guys, as I said, at Battle 3 there, but uh, let's see if I can add to it right here. Get him, CL-13. Tear him up. a boy. Good job. Yeah, um, I didn't... Uh, it's it's very vulnerable to APF SDS through the even through the reinforced composite layers on the front of it on the upper front plate and I wouldn't count on the um, this is stupid and risky but I'm gonna make a B line for C because I got a lot of teammates coming up behind me here at A and we need to reinforce C. Um, see what they got left. They got a few left. As I was saying, uh, your armor will save you from a little bit, but not everything. And uh, apart from that, okay, good job baiting them out. I would say the gun alone makes the T-55 AM very much worth it. And of course, you, you are not seeing the full Silver Lion and probably RP gaining potential in my first 10 because it is a test drive as you would if you actually bought it. So I would fully recommend, yikes, thank you, 120. I would fully recommend the T55 AM1. And uh, if there are any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer them. And I would like to say thank you very much to all of you for continuing to watch my videos. We're closing in on 10,000 viewers, which are 10,000 subscribers, I mean. Which is nice. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it there for a while, but it seems like it's probably going to happen here now. So, 
Thank you very much, everyone, for your continued support. And I think this video is probably long enough, so we'll wrap it up there and say thank you all for watching. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you in the next War Thunder video.